Okay, uh, today's project, I'm gonna take us through making this marking knife. Uh, this is one I made for myself probably a couple of months ago. It's a great tool, great project. I use it just about every day I'm in the shop. Uh, we'll need a few things to get going here. Uh, first of which is carbon steel. In this case, I'm gonna use 5160. I have a piece of this lying around and uh, it's easy to work, easy to temper. We'll need some handle material. Um, just like the original one, I've got a piece of leopard wood here. Uh, it's about three quarters of an inch square, probably about six inches long. I've got a piece of round bar. This is half inch diameter, mild steel round bar, and we're gonna use this to make the ferrule for the blade. I've got a template. This was my original template. I used it to make this one and a, a couple that I gave to some friends. So we'll be using that to um, prep the blade. We'll need some sandpaper for the handle. Uh, we're gonna take it all the way up the grits and then hit it with some micro mesh up to about 12,000 grit to give it this nice polish that we've got on this one. And then the last thing we'll need here is a forge. I've got a full-size forge. It's a little bit overkill for this tiny little hunk of steel. So I put together this little pocket forge and hopefully that'll be enough for our uh, purposes today. Let's get going. Okay, so off camera, I glued my template on top of this piece of 5160 with a little bit of uh, medium super glue, scratched around it with my scratch all so I could see my lines in the marking fluid here and now it should be ready to cut. We just have to get the template off. Easy as that. All right, that should be good enough to take it to the belt grinder. I've got a two by 72 that I'm gonna throw a 60 grit on and we'll, uh, we'll take care of the rest of this waste material and get this sanded up to the lines. Okay, that should be good enough for the 60 grit belt. I'm gonna switch over to a 120 and I'm gonna finish sanding right up tight to the lines here. got it shaped, we've got it reasonably flat, uh, time to put the bevels on. All right, so we've got the bevels all nice and symmetrical and basically down to almost sharp, and we're gonna do the rest here by hand sanding. All right, to get this prepped for heat treating, um, I'm gonna run it through some 320, some 400, and some 1000 grit paper. Um, it's just wet dry emery paper. I'll use a little WD-40 to uh, clear the chips away. Just want to get a nice polish on this before it's hard and then we can uh, 
you can run it through the forge. Let's try this again with double-sided tape. Much better. All right, that's looking nice. So we're looking to just bring this up to non-magnetic and then uh, quench it, and we'll get it in the toaster oven to temper it. All right, that's right there, maybe a little hot. And into the quench. So after the quench, but uh, before the temper, um, just want to get a polish back on it so I can see the colors as they move through while tempering, um, looking for kind of a deep straw, but we'll get this in the toaster oven and uh, start making the handle. Next up, we want to turn our round bar down to something we can use for the ferrule on the end of the marking knife. Um, we'll bring the uh, part that goes in the knife down to a quarter inch, and we'll just clean up the rest of it, uh, you know, maybe take a few thousandths off and get the mill scale off, and then um, we'll punch a hole for the blade, and we should be all set to move over to the wood turning. Okay, uh, so I cut off the waste on the bandsaw. I'm gonna give this a quick spot drill, and then I am going to drill it out to 730 seconds to accept the um, shank of the blade, and then we'll clean up the outside and we should be good to go with this part. Gonna add a little bit of tape to the drill bit and just make sure we don't go too deep. So we've got seven eighths there. Let's drill this to three quarters total.
All right, there's our ferrule to accept the blade and that will mount in the wood blank for the handle. Uh, to get the handle ready to turn, we're going to want to add a quarter inch hole and that's going to accept our ferrule and then our ferrule is going to accept our blade. Um, so we want to get this glued in there and then we'll be able to start turning the blank down. do it so before we uh glue this in i'm just going to clean it off with some denatured alcohol and make sure there's no oil from the machining on the outside of the ferrule and i've got uh Medium super glue here. We'll add some to the hole and some to the ferrule. Clamp that nice and tight. Give it about 10 minutes and we'll be uh, ready to turn the wood. Okay, let's start shaping the handle. I'm gonna go for round first. Now I want to mark some spots for the swell in the handle and the taper. That's going to be about our widest spot. Skinniest, and then a little flare back here. Leopard wood is a little hairy. Um, it likes to kind of thread and tear out. So I, I like to do a lot of the finishing with sandpaper. So I'm gonna switch over to some 80 grit, get my tool rest out of the way and, and get to sanding here. And at this point, we're going to flip it around in the lathe so we can get at the ferrule and get that polished up. Now we should be ready to finish it up.
All right, starting with 400. I'm just gonna sand the metal with this piece and then switch to a fresh piece of paper so I don't spread the metal dust into the wood. So now that everything's up to 400, um, I'm gonna give it a wipe down with some denatured alcohol, let it dry a little bit, and then we're gonna start applying uh, thin CA glue, and that's gonna serve as our finish. It gets really hard, um, it's very easy to polish, and it's very durable once it's on there. So let's get this cleaned up. We get our first look at how nice the handle's gonna look, which is kind of a treat as well. Okay, and for this part, we definitely want gloves and glasses. The uh, super, super glue is pretty painful on your fingers. Um, haven't gotten it in my eyes before, but we certainly don't want that. I'm gonna turn the lathe way down and start applying our glue. The trick here is you want to be quick on and quick off, um, otherwise the paper towel will stick, uh, the finish will smudge and it'll start to get sticky on you, so one coat about every 30 seconds. Once we've got about five or six coats of the uh, ultra thin CA, I'm um, gonna hit it with some accelerator. And I'm just gonna level this out with some 600 grit. wiping it with a little denatured alcohol again. And then I want to add a few coats of the medium CA. Finish looks pretty good. Um, we should be ready for the micro mesh now. <clears throat> I'm using lots of water with this. Just want to give it a spin and make sure I didn't burn through my finish anywhere, but this is looking great. So I'm not sure if it's going to come across in the camera, but that's the light straw color I'm looking for on the, the temper. So this should be ready to polish up. 
Um, I'm going to round out the shank a little bit so that I can put it into the uh, uh, the ferrule on the handle. And then we should be ready to glue this up. All right, uh, time to attach the blade here. Um, so I've got the blade all cleaned up, rounded out the edges, added some notches just to kind of add a mechanical grab for the glue. We've got a test fit. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use a little bit of this carbon black powder And some CA. This is the medium CA. Unfortunately, we have to mix up more than we need, probably, but that's all right. So that's nice and black. And I'm going to pour that down into the handle. Both the handle and the blade have been cleaned with uh, acetone. And then what I want is that for to kind of, or for that to kind of fill up uh, into the countersink we added there. Gonna add just a little bit more. that better. So that looks good. Uh, let that glue set up and then we're going to buff it and sharpen it. Okay. Well, there's my original. And there's the one I just made. It's buffed. Dropped, sharpened, pops hair right now, so it's plenty sharp and it's looking good. Thanks for watching.